drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello and welcome to edupedia world similarly we're going to check for o model check dot get property of checked so we're going to do check and once we enter it is true so this is nothing but string so we have to convert this to boolean value how we going to do it so we'll be going to the mock data so in this mock data we going to add a type type boolean so and save it so once we have a type boolean then it will take as a boolean value so we'll go here and we're going to reprint this and that is nothing but a true and this is how it is coming okay so we got the last name first name check website image and main and this is not taking us four and we'll see this normally four yeah and is not taking us four right because it's a numeric similarly we have to add a type a number here to the number once we add the type number and save it it's always recommended not to use xml because xml it is very much complicated now it looks simple as you have more 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 data it becomes very complicated and when you i'll tell you uh, why it will be very complicated first we'll check this the number type i have included as for there are different types of uh, xml that you have to check if you want to use xml data so there is a number so then it will take as a number now in your table view dot js now once we do we're going to refresh this page so once we're going to refresh we'll be seeing the value yeah now it is coming have you seen the difference now for so this is how we include the data types by default in xml it will take as four as a string always so if you want to use the types then you can use the types like this and you can have and there are different way of writing xml also there is a separate documentation if you want you can refer it so as we talk about in in here so we have a separate way of writing it so here so in this we have so when we go to developer guide and we'll check how the xml data works and how we are can use so you can have it here also so when they will be creating implementing xml model so how we going to implement the xml model here the procedure is that so first you have to initiate the model that is where o model equal to new sap ui model dot xml dot xml model and you have to set data this is one way of doing it like how we set data or else you can directly set from the file that is load data xml what we have used and we can dot set xml dot set xml and we have to have we are having this xml content inside it like this also we can have so there are four ways of loading and one more the way is one is like this set data another is set directly xml one is load data and another is you will be having a named model this is unnamed model then another one is named model but when we use named model it becomes complicated because it is not accepted by every control so that is a named model is not recommended usually remember there will be three or four ways of loading data a 
in XML also. In JSON, we have the same thing we have seen yesterday. In the previous session, we discussed about JSON model, implementing the JSON model. We send data like this and load data. These are two ways of doing it. And when it comes to XML, we have set data, set XML and load data. So in load data, we can have a named model, but that is not used because it's not recommended as well. And it becomes complicated. And we have to see why that problem is. So that's still, they're looking into it. That's the reason it's not recommended XML. Always better to use JSON model. An easy way, why it becomes complicated is, I'll be telling you now. So when we do F12, and when we load, once we load, first I load this XML data. When I say get model, O model, dot get data get data then the data is a document so we have to read document model then in this model a last name Denny name Richard check like this so like this we'll get the data when you say get data see model this 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 you you have to know like see model then last name, the name, check like this. You have to know. But when it comes to JSON, and we'll say get data. See, this is the data. It's coming. There's a parse error sense in the model data. This is how we do. There's a pass error. That's okay. But why it is pass error? It's at A3. We're gonna check the JSON first one second. So if we get a pass error like this, so we have to go here, copy this content, and we have to use the JSON lint as we go. this I'm going to paste JSON is valid so JSON is valid only but it gives a parse error yes it is a parse error why I did a mistake sorry So here, sorry, uh, I'll go here first, I'll click on here and then I'll clear it first. This is a mounted JSON, so we have to chase changed here, I haven't changed. JSON. Okay, now this is successful. So we have O data and the model. We know now. So we have proper things. O model, we have so many rows. So it is clear the understanding. If it has a thousand rows also, it would be easy for us to understand. Like this, we can expand. Like this, we can expand. But when it comes to XML model, we don't have. We have complete document. We have complete document. So when we have XML data, yeah, this is the XML data. When I load and when I say O model dot get data, so this is a document, and in this document, I have a last name. And like this, I have to open every time. 
So this is a model and I have to open and I have to put it inside this. Again, I have to do. So when it comes to a more and there is a problem with the types also, here we don't have any, uh, we don't have to explicitly declare the type and etc. It automatically takes in JSON. Does have advantages in JSON. So always prefer JSON. But for your understanding, you have to know how XML data also works and how we write XML also. That's what we have seen in this session. How to write XML data and how to include data types. It varies from data type to data type. So that is what we have taken one simple row and we have displayed it. Now, so what we're going to do is next is resource model. So once we talk about resource model, so resource model is nothing but used for localization. So we have a last name, we have a first name and we have a checked website, image and gender. We want this to come from a resource. So that is what we're going to use. So we'll be seeing now implementing resource model. So creating a model, how we're going to do it. So we're going to create model by using like this. First, we have to declare the model new SAP UI model dot resource dot resource model. And we have to give bundle name and locally English or if it is locally Germany then DE German then DE like that it depends or else you can directly load the resource like this get resource bundle if you have already set the model then we can get the resource bundle like this so we're gonna use it in our application now so in our application what we have done so we have used this names right so what we're going to do is we will be getting so i'm going to revert back all the changes what i have done okay we'll put it as a json now I'm going to save it. So now it is a simple missing. So I'm going to save. I'm going to run my application once again. And I'm going to debugger. So this is what it's coming from the JSON. Everything all set. Now the last name we're going to get it from the resource bundle. So we have to go here, we have to go here, so there is a last name, we have set it the text right, so we have to get it from the resource model. So how are we going to do that? So first what we have to do is, we have to create i18 file. So that is what the name we have given it, i18 N. So this is resource model. So inside this, we're gonna create dot properties file. Right click and say new file. Then create an app text dot properties file. And then say finish. Then there will be a properties file will be loaded. How do you gonna write it this? is so you have to give any name like last name I want to write and what is the value for this is last name okay. like this we have and for the first name like this you have to give all caps first there's a wiki also writing this how we're going to write a property file Depends, every company has a different because they have to translate the text. So every company has their own wiki, they'll follow. 
So for simple, for general purpose, this is how we write all caps and then we write first name in capital like this. So we'll do it for the first two, first name and last name and then we're going to do it for the rest of them. So we'll do the, our code. Now we'll create resource model. So how we're going to create resource model is so here slash resource model we are assigning creating a resource model. And inside this, we'll be writing now where our resource will take our capital, and then we're gonna assign this. See this? So we're gonna write like new SAP UI model dot resource resource model and and this bundle URL you have to give and that is i18 and slash app text dot properties. So once it is done, we have to set the model to our O table. O table to dot set model this resource model O resource 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 comma i and so this is the over resource i'm setting it up and semicolon at the end so this is one of the model so how to do it it's a resource the cpy model resource dot resource model and we have to give bundle url this is a resource bundle so the i18 the path of this we can give and the set model is o resource and we are naming it as an i18 name so always it has to be an named model unnamed model then it will be very difficult that's the reason the importance of named model comes into the picture so now we got the text now and we are gonna go to app text and oh, this is going to change So now I'm going to see this is the last name. So copy this and we have to use it in our application. So table. This text need to come from I18. So how are we going to do it? I18 N. It's a name model, so create it. And then we're going to paste this and it should be in a flower braces. If not, it will take it as a string. So once this, we go and refresh it. So it is coming as last name. So this is the last name. Same text, what is appearing here. So we're gonna change this to new then we'll see it should come so see new so there is a changed so this is how we're gonna carry forward the text whatever we use it in a header it's always not to hardcore the text so why we haven't we shouldn't hardcore the text is it differs from country to country. So it's always good to have. So we similarly, we'll be doing it for the first name. First name. So similarly, we'll do it for the checked. So we'll write all the values. Check. To check and then we have something called website 
So we're going to have a website. So website caps and we're going to use website. Else will not give. And the next. Next value is after website, we have image and gender. So we're going to do an image and gender. Gender. And the next one is rating. So here we go. This is the last one the rating. So rating. Equal to rating. So we can have this. So once we do, we can make use of this code there. So how do you use it? So it is I18 in a flower braces. We're gonna copy and we're gonna paste it here. Checked. And then for the website. website and then for image and gender image and gen gender and the last one is rating So we'll see. All right, and we're gonna save this. And now we're gonna refresh this one, and it will come new only. They haven't changed, so we'll remove the text there. We want to add new to everywhere, new, so that we can see the changes. Once we test set, change the text, whatever it is. So we're gonna use this and refresh. Once we refresh, see all new new text added. It's still rating. See, it is coming from I18 file, that is resource bundle. So this is how we're gonna do for resource bundle and XML data. We have seen so far. And one more thing I wanted to show is once you don't give this floor braces, it will consider as a string. That difference we'll see now. I'm saving this. I'll go here and I'll refresh it and we'll see the rating. See, it is considering as a string. So that is why always use floor braces when you are using resource model, any model. If you want to bind it, so you have to use. I have refreshed it and then the rating appears. Okay. So, in this session, we have seen XML and resource model how to make use of it. So, in your application, you can make use of these two models and use it thank you in the next session we'll be seeing odata